Okay, it's our last day with this family group in uh, southern Utah. We uh, just are completing our eight day Mighty Five National Park tour. I picked the family up in Vegas um, over a week ago. And uh, we spent the first night in Springdale. We had a nice barbecue dinner that evening where we do our orientation, go over the map, make the plan for the week, kind of just get to know each other and talk about what we're gonna do all week and how to do it safely. And then uh, the following day, we were in Zion National Park for the day. We hiked up to Scout Overlook. We hiked to the Emerald Pools. We took the scenic drive up to the end of the uh, top of uh, the road where we could see the Virgin River. We saw a bunch of wildlife. It was a really great day in Zion. And then that evening or afternoon, we made our way over to Bryce Canyon National Park. We passed Bryce and stay in Tropic in a really unique, really cool property outside of the National Park there. Um, great restaurant, they had a really nice evening. It's this nice property with these little standalone um, bungalows and they have a really killer restaurant. So we did that. And then the next day we did uh, Bryce Canyon National Park. We hiked through the uh, Fairyland Loop, eight mile loop hike through the park all the amphitheaters, all the hoodoos, stunningly beautiful. It was a really gorgeous day, uh, a little cooler there. Bryce is about 7,000 feet, 8,000 feet or so. So um, it's a little cooler, cooler being like the mid eighties. It was a really beautiful day. And then we uh, um, moved on that afternoon again, as we normally do. We hike in the morning and see the park in the morning and move on to the next park to keep the drive short. And uh, then we went up over Boulder Mountain. We went uh, through Torrey and we stayed just on the edge of Capitol Reef National Park for two nights. And we went to the Capitol Reef uh, National Park the following day. Um, we hiked the Sulphur Creek Trail. Sulphur Creek Trail, there had been a flash flood the day before because it rained. So it was really flowing good and a uh, bunch of waterfalls and day of uh, hiking down the river about five and a half miles. We did a shuttle drop, so I dropped the van off and then we through hiked all the way down, past the waterfalls, into the big pool, did the water slide into the pool at the end and uh, had a really fun day in the water and hiking uh, the narrow uh, drainage there of Sulphur Creek. Made our way to the ranger station. Then we uh, took a little drive through Fruta, the little town there, um, the, you know, from the 1800s through to the 1950s and a uh, historic little town. And uh, then that evening we did a barbecue in the Capitol Reef National Park picnic area. So that was really a, a fun evening and uh did a barbecue and you know played some card games and had a fun family time out uh that evening and then uh spent the night in capitol reef again and then the next morning got up and we drove out to capitol reef we made a couple stops at the historic schoolhouse a little pioneer cabin the petroglyph indian native american indian rock art site there and then um, made our way up through Hanksville and went into uh, the corner of Goblin Valley State Park. Then we went into the San Rafael Swell and we hiked Little Wild Horse Canyon. The narrow slot canyon there is always uh, a real um, interesting thing for people. It's just very narrow, high walls of rock. And we hiked up uh, Little Wild Horse back down. We went to this beautiful scenic overlook of the swell and had lunch um in camp chairs really fun uh afternoon out then we made our way up and around through green river into moab and went out to the colorado river where they spent three nights on a ranch out there um the following day they went river rafting in the morning um down the colorado and uh, i met them when they came off the river with some carne asada tacos which was really fun we sat out in the shade and and uh, enjoyed that and then they took a little break and that evening went for a uh, horseback ride from the ranch which they really enjoyed 
And um, that was that day. And then the following day, yesterday, we went to Canyonlands National Park. We went down into the Needles and we did an eight and a half mile loop hike in the Needles District and did not see, <clears throat> excuse me, one person the entire day in the parking lot, the entire eight plus mile hike all the way back to the parking lot. We saw the ranger at the ranger post coming in and didn't even see them on the way out. It was a spectacular day. It was warm, but uh, we hike early and, uh, you know, pack, pack appropriately and um, dress appropriately. And they just loved it. So cool to have the solitude of Capital or uh, Canyonlands and have it all to yourself like that. Then um, yesterday we drove back up into Moab. Uh, they took uh, a couple hours to walk through town and do some shopping and looking around in the stores and the shops in Moab. And then last night we went out to dinner to the Moab Brewery, which was really fun, and um, into town. And then uh, they spent the night at the ranch again last night. And now today we are in Arches National Park. See an arch right here. We're up by the windows. We just hiked to Landscape Arch. They're hiking up to the windows gallery right now. And um, it's been a fabulous week. They've had a lot of time together as a family on these hikes and and on this adventure to, you know, enjoy their themselves and be together alone and and really have a full fun week of it. We we made breakfast every morning in remote areas where we could just be out having breakfast a couple times. I made breakfast that they could eat on the van rides so uh, we could get to where we wanted to hike and use the time on the van to have uh, breakfast and coffee and, and just enjoy ourselves as we made our way to our trailhead. And um, we're seeing a couple of the rock arches and arches today, landscape arch, windows, you know, a few of these around the windows gallery. And then now we're going to go, um, we've had the full morning here. We're going to go uh, check out some dinosaur tracks and some Native American rock art. And we're going to go up and have uh, some uh, lunch at Ray's Tavern in uh, Green River and make our way back up to Salt Lake City so they can depart. They've said many times that they can't believe it's over and they had a fantastic time. It was a pleasure to show them the beauty of Southern Utah, the five national parks and everything in between them, state parks and geological sites and historic sites and so much to offer here in Southern Utah. So it's been a real fun trip and I'm looking forward to going up and uh, cleaning the rig and the uh, camp kitchen and the trailer and everything else, all the equipment and have a few days at home and then picking up another family and doing it again. It's been spectacular and uh, I can tell you Southern Utah doesn't disappoint. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. It's remote and uh, is a great time to spend some quality time together with family, friends, and small groups of people. And uh, we love to show you down here in Southern Utah. So looking forward to finishing strong here with these guys and enjoying the rest of the day and uh, completing our Mighty Five National Park Adventure in Southern Utah.